Greetings from Houston, Texas. I'd like to offer my congratulations to the Polish American Enterprise Fund on reaching its 15th anniversary and to the Polish American Freedom Foundation on its fifth anniversary. I also want to congratulate Chairman John Berklin, President Bob Farris, and the boards of directors who serve without compensation. The fund was born out of a comprehensive package of measures that I proposed to the same in July of 1989, as Poland was making its first strides toward democracy. Shortly after my visit, the U.S. Congress enacted the Support for Eastern European Democracy Act, which established the fund and other similar activities in the region dedicated to developing free society and private enterprise. The fund quickly became a success story. It's injected over $2 billion into the Polish economy, and over 100,000 loans have been dispersed. 125,000 jobs have been generated and sustained, and more than 50,000 enterprises have received assistance. It's also the first foreign assistance program in American history to yield a significant return on its investment. The board also realized its vision to create a powerful legacy by establishing a permanent endowment to further the growth of democracy and economic prosperity. The fund's two successor organizations, Enterprise Investors, now the largest investment team in Central Europe, and the Freedom Foundation, its charitable offspring, have been highly effective administrators of this valuable inheritance. These organizations have played a key role in cultivating economic development and civil society in Poland. In turn, its success has impacted all of Central and Eastern Europe, laying the foundation for stability and security in the region. The United States treasures your enduring partnership and is proud to have contributed in some small way to your country's tremendous progress. I wish the boards, John, Bob, and all of you continued success and good fortune.